Welcome. Going to do a bit of an intro for this one. I normally don't, just throw you straight into it. So I've just gone through the GoPro here to have a look to see what I've done this week. Um, yeah, what you're going to, going to view. I'll just chuck this on here. So yeah, this week had time to work on it a little bit. I haven't got as much done as I'd like to, but it's going to get less and less as I do more things around here. Um, yeah, worked away at the primer side of it. Um, yeah, at the end of the week I realised yeah, I hadn't got it right and my mate came here and he looked at it and he can just see things like Round two. So the cab's all been rubbed down and gone through, put my blazing putty on, um, on what I could see, what had shown up. I don't doubt that there's going to be a few imperfections in it, but I can live with that. It's going to work. So you can see all the lines on there where I've wiped it down with the wax and grease remover. That's what that is at the moment. So I'll just sort of grab a couple of shots before I start priming. So I'm going to reprime the cab since it's been rubbed down and all that. There shouldn't be any issues with the primer going on top of that and put a bit of build in it with the primer. It's quite thin. Each primer is very thin apparently when it goes on. But it's, yeah, I, I know I've missed a little bit here and there. What, I, what I'm doing could be wrong, but could be right too. I don't know, I just put it on and I'll let it um, dry off and then I'll re-rub it. And we'll make an assessment then on what it looks like. Second coat of primer, it's on. Pretty happy with it. I'll give that a, a couple of hours and I'll rub that down. Won't take long. The light's gone out, sorry it's a bit dark, but yeah, no, it come up really good. You'll soon know when the top coat goes on what it does. Covered up my glazing okay, that was the main thing. If you can see that, well, it's not going to work when the top coat goes on, I think. Right, as you saw, I just sprayed, and it's, yeah, I was like, nah, still not right. So you have another go, but this time I'm only filling around the actual rivets. In between, I think I've got that licked. Um, you've done a few of them. It's never ending. Who'd want to own a truck full of rivets? So I got that. A couple more there. So I was around the back here and I was touching up where I've um, rubbed it and I'd rubbed the primer off some of these um, hucks or dome rivets as I call them. And I looked at this and it's like, oh yeah, all these, yeah, I didn't put these ones in. It's been had a repair done. It's like, oh geez, I've gone to the trouble of making all the others look like dome heads. So things like that, you just overlock, eh? Well, I do. So I'll mix up some filler, and I'll go along and I'll just grab all those real quick. Let it harden off, and um, i just give them a quick squirt. So I just keep going around the cab, and you've got to remember when it's up on the chassis, what's going to be at head height. So it's roughly going to be this line around here. This is going to be line of sight. So that's what we really need to concentrate on. I mean, we need to get the whole cab right, but yeah, and this is where the worst of the damage is. So I've learnt my lesson. I gouged around these rivets when I was trying to sand. I tried different tools and different techniques and the thickness of the paint. I, yeah, I just dug holes around them. So yeah, don't ever do that. Avoid it just sand up to them and walk away. So I've made a lot of work for myself. But the likes of this here, um, to me, yeah, they're good. I've already done some of those and sprayed them. Spraying them shows up all your imperfections. Well, that's how I'm doing it. As I said, I'm not a bodywork person, just learning. So that there, it's, it's been rubbed down and uh, wax and grease remover. 
why it's got that look on it. It was a bit wet when I did it, the rag. It's all going to have another wipe down, obviously. But yeah, I just sprayed around, like, sprayed around that one there. That's fixed up. It's come up all right. You can see the darker spots I just did. Made a big difference. So I got to the point where I wanted to put a, we'll call it a build coat on it, on top of the primer. And yeah, I, I sort of thought, I'll try a different application. Yeah. Got my roller brush here. Oh, what a way to paint a truck, man. It went on pretty smacko. You just gotta watch, eh? If you roll a bit fast, it tends to flick it off. You can see it got a bit on myself, but yeah, that's all good. Yeah, we won't tell mother I borrowed her roller from inside. So have a look at what I've done. So we've got it on and it's shown up all my imperfections of my body work. So as I said before, still learning, got a long way to go. I'll just keep learning. Um, and yes, it is a dull finish and you'll be able to see primer underneath. It's had a wet sand. I've rubbed it down. So I can start and work on the body work again, and just fix, fix things. These rivets are just killing me. I just, I admit I did a lot of damage when I sanded this truck. It's first time caller. I've never done one before and I know now what not to do. Yeah, don't try and dig around the rivets when you're, when you're cleaning. Um, hindsight's a great thing. Probably should have soda blasted the cab. It would have prevented probably 60% of what I've done to it. But you live and learn. That's why I'm making this YouTube. People can sit back and say, well, I've been there and done that. I was watching thinking, yeah, no, he's going wrong. But that's all good. I can live with it. So it's it's actually wet sanded pretty good. It's a beautiful finish on there. Um, I can feel where I haven't, haven't done around the rivets yet. I've only block sanded it. I didn't want to hit the rivets because I don't want to take what paint I've got on those off because it's hard to build on those. But yeah, I've got issues around here. And um, with the wet sanding, when you squirt water on it, it um, it'll go to a bubble, the water, where you haven't sanded. So it's quite a good indicator. And where you have sanded, it, um, it just goes flat on there. It's another way to know where you have been and haven't been. Yeah, this corner here is really, it's really biting me. I just didn't do enough prep work there. You think you've got it when you glaze it and you prime it, but the primer didn't show any of that. This build coat's, yeah, brought all that up. But that's what it's about. I can't really get the light right here to show you, but mistakes I've made. Um, when I sanded this, I obviously used my ear sander and I was, yeah, I thought I was doing great. But as soon as I put this coat on, it showed everything up. And unfortunately, I just can't get it on camera here for a while. You can see a bit. I've got flat spots there in the corners. So I need to go through and fix those. I'm just showing you that what I've done, it's, it's no secret. I mean, yeah, I didn't film it when I, when I um, put this coat on, but yeah, nothing great about that. And for those of you that have watched this to the end, um, yeah, no, I didn't roll the brush at all. It's, I'm doing another uh, project here at the moment inside a house. So I'll just grab the roller brush. It sprayed good. Um, there's something I will say, the paint went on really nice for me. Like I had no issues with the spray gun. Um, yes, I did get, um, I got two, three runs. And that one was due to my hose hooking on something and the other one was just yeah my error so overall i was pretty happy with that it's it's learning for me it's, i'm getting there okay. so my next um thing to do is come out here and obviously do more wet sanding get around all these rivets and start and work on the body
So with that, I'd like to say uh, thanks. I appreciate you watching. There may not be a lot of content coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, you've got quite a few other things happening around here. I'll try and do what I can, even if it's only just a, a five minute upload, just to show that it's still here and I haven't got annoyed with it and put it in the scrap bin. So, but yeah, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, it helps. I know I'm not a big YouTuber, I'm well aware of that. Um, been watching Twin Sticks, he's, go and watch him if you don't already. I see he's doing panel work on his Pete at the moment. He's there with his, uh, his hammers and his dollies and trying to work it out. He's cool, he's, he's making mistakes like everybody else does. So that's what I like watching, I'm not the only one out there doing it. With that I'll, uh, I'll end it, and again, yeah, thanks for watching.